Fluoxetine is a common medication used for disorders like de uh, depressive disorder, OCD, bulimia, panic disorder, bipolar, anorexia, ADHD, diabetic neuropathy, and obesity. Uh, and it's most often used with uh, issues like ADHD, OCD, and depressive disorder. The trade name for fluoxetine is Prozac. It's a therapeutic class is antidepressant, and its pharmacologic class is SSRI, or Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. Okay, so what happens here, what it's really doing is in our neural pathways, we have synaptic clefts, right? And serotonin will go into this space and then try to go, you know, on as a, as a neurotransmitter. What these SSRIs do is they inhibit that serotonin from being taken back in. Okay, so it allows for more serotonin to reside in that synaptic cleft and serotonin is thought to play a role in mood. Okay, so if we have more serotonin available, it should affect the mood and it should help the patient feel less depressed, um, be able to control their ADHD and be able to control their OCD. So this medication, like we said, is fluoxetine or Prozac. Some of the things to keep in mind here and with a lot of these antidepressants, it's really important that the patient is not taking one class of antidepressant with MAOIs or monoamine oxidase inhibitors. So what really needs to happen is there needs to be about a two week gap between stopping one and starting the other to make sure that it completely leaves the system. These SSRIs can actually also cause suicidal thoughts, drowsiness, anxiety, sexual dysfunction, insomnia, and palpitations. Because of these side effects, a lot of patients that begin taking these medications stop taking them. They don't like feeling uh, you know, these drowsiness, this anxiety, the sexual dysfunction, the insomnia, uh, they would almost rather deal with uh, the depressive disorder, or the OCD or whatever it is, rather than have to deal with all of these side effects. We'd also want to be very closely watching our patients because um, fluoxetine can lead to a QT prolongation. And when we're talking about that, we're talking about our EKG. We have our PQRST and our EKG. SSRIs can actually lead to a QT prolongation. And what that's really doing is it's elongating our ventricular contraction, which could then lead to ventricular arrhythmias, okay? We want to really monitor our patient and assess for any sort of suicidal ideation. We want to monitor nutritional status, um, and we want to inspect the patient, make sure that uh, the medication is working for them. We really want to see if they're taking it. We want to instruct them to take it as prescribed and to make sure that they're they're using the medication, that it's actually working for them. Okay, with a lot of patients who start um, antidepressants, we have to adjust the medications to find something that really works for them. So it's really important that we watch them um, and that we monitor them and we make sure it's actually working. So that is fluoxetine or Prozac. It's pharmacologic classes SSRI or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. This has been another episode of the MedMaster podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.